still bad Montreal man how are you doing today I know you think that's not the usual angle we, we see it's what's going on there was no shorts this week it's been you know job hunting week it does happen but I figured I'm gonna start today's show off with the vintage corner that's right and today from the vintage corner I got something that you probably have never seen oh look it's brown what is this this is from a collection. I had one of these when I was a kid. Not as old as this one. This one is from 1954. But, <laughs> electronic football. That's right. This wonderful game. <laughs> if you had wet fingers, <laughs> yep, you would basically electrocute you yourself. Uh, Two Door Metal Products Corporation, uh, USA made. So basically what you would do is you would take these metal guys, put them on the field. You'd, so you'd line them up in certain plays, right? Then you would turn the thing on. It would just literally electrify the plate and vibrate. Toys. Toys. Now, this has been in my collection for, uh, oh, about eight years now. <laughs> oh, and don't forget you have goalposts. Yes, there are goalposts as well. Uh, will I play this this electronic game? Uh, no, I'm not suicidal. At least not this way. Ugh. I'll die. Uh, I'm suicidal. I want to die of old age, like at 200. But yeah, that, that's the vintage corner. Now, if you remember playing with one of these, you had a good childhood because you have to use your imagination, and it was stupid. I mean, this was, I mean, seriously, <laughs> that could have been a hockey player for all you know, just kind of like, uh, but they were fun. There's one of those stupid games that we played growing up. And eventually, though, when they came up with Caligo's Electronic Football, which I also had, the handheld football game, which was better as you'd actually make plays, not just watch me or torture your friends by giving them a nice, cold, wet, condensed can of Coke, and they'd be playing the game. They'd go to touch the guy, and they get a shock. Yeah. Good old days. Okay, that's it for that. Uh, and I checked, by the way. I didn't see any real comments about the Deadpool. So that's still on hiatus. I still want to open it, though, just to drive people crazy. But I got four. Count them. Four action figures for you today. Now, we're going to do Nightwing. I warned you, there's a lot of Batman stuff. A lot of Batman stuff. We're going to be doing Nightwing. And yeah, yeah. Batman as... James, you know, James Gordon, Batman. Now, this is the regular version. There is a blue ver variant, which I saw in a picture, and I went, it looks better than the black one. I don't have it. Maybe one day I'll make out wish list. And, of course, speaking of variants, Catwoman. This is her in the purple. There is a gray variant of this, which I've never seen in person myself. But because I don't want to be stuck on just the Batman family, because I have enough... Batman stuff. Oh my god, there's so much Batman stuff to do. We're also going to do one I was looking forward to, one of my pre-orders. Red Tornado. That's right. So let's uh, let's cut away from the vintage corner and go back to our usual spot. And we'll take a look at, I guess, Nightwing first. Alright, so we have Nightwing. This is the Nightwing from Batman Nightfall. Now, this is a more of a traditional looking Nightwing. Which i kind of been wanting for a while. I still want to build the original Teen Titans. Can you imagine that? George Perez inspired new Teen Titans. That'd be so, that, Mr. McFarland, that's a line you should do. Now, I will get off topic for a second. I did see what's coming down the road. Ambush bug. Yes. <laughs> it's about time. And they're giving him his, his accessory is cheeks. 
you don't know what I'm talking about, then you never really enjoyed Ambush Bug. I love the fact you're doing Ambush Bug. It's a shame it's not the Keith Giffen Ambush Bug, but I'm still looking forward to getting Ambush Bug. But uh, what do you say we take good old Dick Grayson out of the package and we'll take a quick look at him. Back in a minute. Or three or five or depends how long the edit takes. <laughs> Grayson, aka Nightwing, out of the package. You saw in the close ups. Um, I have mixed feelings. There's some things about it I like. I like the color scheme. I like the fact that I even gave him his ponytail. Uh, ponytail, I wonder why. Um, I'm not too crazy about the hand with the disc. They honestly could have just made a small little disc, put it in his hand, you know, so you can take it out. Good thing, they're alternate hands. I probably will do a hand swap. Uh, I'm not too thrilled about the difference in colors between the hands and the rest of the suit. I'm pretty sure when I look back at the comic books, it was a not exactly the same color, but a bit darker. But mostly I'm disappointed in the paint job. If you look at the belt here, the Nightwing symbol is crooked. These don't connect. A little disappointed in that. But overall, I, I, you know, I do recommend if you're a Teen Titans fan or a Titans fan... I still want the George Perez original Titans. That'd be so cool. God, be so good. But, you know, if you're one of those guys, you know, definitely pick it up. Now, you might be lucky. You might go to the store and you might see, you know, a Nightwing that has a properly placed Nightwing symbol. But for the most part, he's going to go on the shelf, mid-shelf. He'll go behind the other Nightwing I have. But uh, let's move on, shall we? Uh, Nightwing away. All right. Oh, <laughs> Figures. As soon as I put them down, look what popped off. You know how I feel about these things. I did see something on online the other day, which I'm thinking about. It's uh, two mini round bases. You put one on each foot. I'm thinking about it. So what do you say we go back to Gotham once more? This was a weird Batman storyline. It's one of the last ones I, I remember reading. Had a villain with a sunflower head. Yeah, I know. They were on something. But James Gordon as skinny Batman. Because, yeah, he's, he's puny. It's it's puny. Now, the blue one, the color looks really good. Uh, but I don't have him, so we're, we're stuck with the regular one for now. So let's take good old Batman James Gordon out of the package, and we'll take a quick look. <laughs> go he's kind of skinny i mean he's actually a smaller body build than nightwing uh, it does look like the comic book so it, i do give it credit it does look like the james gordon batman from the comic books i i don't know it's another mixed feeling it's it's i mean the design's not bad i have to get credit the design's not bad the accessories, well, you have the James Gordon head, you have, to make up for the weight, you got three alternate hands, and of course the stupid crossbow gun. Uh, would I recommend him? If you're a Batman guy, yeah, get him. He's a Batman. Come on. I was even watching the uh, one of the video clips with the good old Mr. McFarlane, he was like, you know, the reason he explained why Batman. He goes, Batman sells. And he's right. Batman sells. I, I buy Batmans. I have a lot of Batmans. And I just realized from my action figures on the desk have fallen over because the... But in this case, it actually holds them. I stand corrected. As soon as I put him down, he popped out. But yeah. Uh, well, 
kind of hard to be super excited this week. Uh, you know, I have a whole bunch of stuff on pre-order. I mean, I I was talking to my friends at GameStop, and I have a massive pre-order list that just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So it's a bit frustrating that all I really have is a lot of Batman stuff and Batman stuff, which was kind of like, okay, I'll get it. But yeah. Well, that's it for James Gordon. Let me know what you think of him. And if you see the blue one, if you pick him up, let me know. Because I want to see a proper review of the blue one. Because I have only saw one like when someone bought it and walked away with it. I didn't get a good, good look at it, but it looked like the proper blue. Just saying. But uh, we're going to leave Gotham for a minute. Actually, no, no, no. I might as well do this now. Uh, let's go. Let's 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 go to the perfect accomplice slash future wife, Catwoman. Back in a moment. Okay, uh, you can't see it too well in the closest, but that whip is is pretty impressive. <clears throat> I, I really love the fact that the whip isn't a hard plastic. It's got some movement to it. Uh, the sculpt, not the most posable. It's not. I mean, there's a couple of color variations, but let's be honest. You're going to want Catwoman the same reason I want Catwoman. Number one... They don't make too many women action figures for us collectors. Number two, it's Selena Kyle. It's not the movie one. It's, you know, the comic book one. And the gloss on the boots and gloves is beautiful. There is a spare pair of so hands that comes with, like, they're, like, spit open. The sculpting in the face is nice and serious. I like it. This one is front of the shelf. This is definitely front of the shelf Catwoman. <sighs> I, I definitely have to track down the gray variant because the gray variant has a bit of that, you know, Batman Adventures animated touch to it. Plus the fact she did wear gray a lot more as well. But yeah, definitely one of these. This is one of the ones where I'd say if you do see it, pick it up. Pick up more than one. Honestly, if I could get another Catwoman and I could find the proper color black, I would probably make an all black Catwoman except I would leave a little bit of a purple highlight where the boots and gloves meet. That'd be cool looking. Definitely, definitely the best one of the day. Yeah, she's almost perfect. One thing would be nice, so even though I don't collect the, uh, the Adam West Batman figures, but I would love to see a Julie Newmar done in the multiverse style and also an Eartha Kitt Catwoman. Oh, that'd be wonderful. All right. So, uh, we only have one DC multiverse left. Can you feel the winds of change? Gold label, red tornado. Yes. I, 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 I was waiting for this thing, waiting for this thing. I had a feeling it might get canceled, but it did show up. Yes. So let's take good old red out of the package, and we'll be back soon. <music> As you saw in the close-ups, you can tell it's a reused body. I mean, it's the same Green Lantern body. You can tell by the way the the cape curves. But all that aside, who cares? Seriously, who cares? If you're like me and you want to build that Justice League International collection, you need a Red Tornado. And he's well detailed. The paint job is really good. I like the gold. The boots are done. He does come with the Red Tornado base. If you bought the Black Adam Cyclone, it's just the same thing, but colored red. Um, I put him in there. It didn't hold him properly. That kind of holds him, even though the cape wants to bring him down. This is also front of the shelf. I love this thing. Now we just need, of course, ice, fire, 
Rocket Red. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. But no, this is definitely one I would recommend picking up. Uh, I just love the fact that it's not a Batman. <laughs> mean to say, I know, but it's just so nice that we're just going to get the Justice League. We're slowly, slowly building up a Justice League. We got Blue Beetle. We got Booster Gold. We got John Johns. Now we got Red Tornado. Yes, yes. We even have Wave Rider. Ow! Oh, you think by now I'd know there's a desk there. Oh, I should be put in a padded room with a padded desk. But yeah, Red Tornado, I do recommend it. Yeah, you know, he does have an alternate set of hands, which is fine. But yeah, definitely, definitely friend of the show. Now, I'm not going to end it there because I still don't know about the Deadpool. Still don't know yet. But I figure, you know, let's dwell once more into the Marvel Universe. Now, because John Smith, Red Tornado, Secret Identity, I want to go with another one. A secret identity that a lot of people in Canada wish we had. Guardian. That's right. Canada's true guardian. The hero. If only he were real, he'd get rid of all the politicians. Just saying. So what do you say we take good old Guardian out of the Marvel Universe package and take a look at this 3-inch wonder? <laughs> Once more, Marvel Universe, these three inches are so well designed, so well done. He's posable. He's articulated. He looks good. Doesn't have that weird U-shaped thing that they do with the regular Marvel Legends. I like this. Now, I would love to have McFarlane Toys take over the Marvel Legends line and start doing stuff like this in seven inches. I mean, this is one of the ones where if you could find the right blank Marvel Universe character, you might do better costume. Or if you really went for a DC multiverse, find like a blank DC multiverse. Even though I have seen some places that do 3D printing, you can get a really good 3D printer. One day, one day I'll have one and I'll be able to print up and do my own creations. If you don't know, I have thousands of character designs that I've done over the years. Those of you who go to my Facebook page probably saw a few of them every now and then. I would love to start making them as toys. It'd just be so much cool. This is one, though, I would like to see in a 7-inch DC Multiverse style. Not with the usual Marvel Legends 6-inch with the weird chest. But that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Not my greatest. Sorry, a bit of a sore throat again this week. But at least, hey, I'm here. I'm here. You're here. And uh, as always, as always... Please like, subscribe to the videos if you don't mind, share the videos. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you go, I have a challenge. I have a, I have a challenge for you. I did this with another uh, YouTube thing I follow because I was on my computer for about seven hours, basically a work day of me looking for work on the computer. And I left it on one channel. And I just said, play all videos. And I did that for three days in a row. And I had some interesting results to see what order they played and also to see which one it ended on. Two days in a row, it ended on the same video. Same amount of time. The third day, though, it seems to have played things in reverse. So I have a challenge for you. A fun challenge. I'm going to be doing it myself. So what I'm going to ask you to do is say, for example, Monday, you're going to work. Before you leave, turn on your computer or your TV. Put it on YouTube. Go to the On The Pig channel, or if you really want to be crazy, go to the Montreal Man channel. Hit play all. Just play all. For example, if you're on the on the peg, you hit play all, and you're gone for, say, eight hours. Do that for, like, three, four days in a row. When you come back, see what video it was on, or what toy it was on, and let me know in the comments, because <laughs> I'd like to see if your YouTube does the same thing mine did, where two days in a row was the same thing ended on. Third day, it seemed to go in reverse order. In other words, I went to the latest video, 
for the earlier videos. Curious. And for the Mad Montreal Man one, I'm going to be doing that probably next week. Just for the heck of it. I'm weird. I'm going to open up my YouTube uh, and just hit play all. Just to see where, out of the 12 years of video I did on that channel, where it's going to end up. For On the Peg, though, I can tell you, it did, for me, end not on a Batman. No. No, it did not end on a Batman. It actually ended on a Marvel Legends from season one, which is weird. But, you know, that's life. So uh, that's the challenge for next week. Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget, let me know. Do you want me to open up that Dead Peel Series 6 package? Yes or no? I'm still debating it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, once more, p please hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you for sharing the videos. And from the bottom of my broken, scarred, damaged uh, heart, thank you so much for watching the videos. From the deep, dark recesses of my depressive soul, thank you for putting up with the, the videos. I hope you had a laugh, either at my expense, like banging my hand yet again. Maybe you got a laugh and everything. I hope you should enjoy the show because that's the whole point of the show. Because I'm here to basically help you to stay positive, stay happy, stay healthy. And remember, if you got toys, you're off to a good start. We'll see you next week. That's right. It's me. Yeah, yeah. Probably paste. You heard me. Probably paste. Let's take that over again. Okay, one minute and 25 seconds in. Shit.